All right, so I just listened to oral arguments in Idaho v. United States. I talked about this case in my last TikTok. The oral arguments were painful to listen to, very painful, um, but, and I don't know how they're going to rule because I'm not a Supreme Court expert. We're gonna find out in June, but I will say that listening to these white male millionaire justices talk about our, as Samuel Alito put it, quote unquote health was excruciating. But what I want to flag for you right now is that Samuel Alito went somewhere in his questions that, that reproductive rights advocates were very worried someone would go. And I want to tell you the background because it may come up again. In 1986, Tala, and again, you can go back and look at what Tala is in my previous video, was modified to say that it was important that doctors in ERs provided emergency care and stabilization for not just the mother, but the unborn child. Now they did that for women who were in active labor to ensure that they weren't kicked out of the hospital because they were in active labor. In fact, active labor is in the name of the bill. But Alito brought it back up and there's a real fear that what he's trying to do and what the right wing justices on the court are trying to do is bring fetal personhood into this argument. That in 1986 was not meant to imply that any uh, fertilized embryo had to be put on equal footing with the mother, but that's what Alito was trying to argue. That is the thing that we all need to be very, very leery of, is that what these right-wing justices want and the Alliance Defending Freedom, who are paying for Idaho, the, the, the Federalist Society, what all of these people want, the people funding Donald Trump, what they want is fetal personhood. And they want that codified by the Supreme Court and people like him will argue for it. And if they get it, we lose all abortion rights. We lose IVF. We lose many forms of contraception. My general takeaway listening to these arguments this morning was that ultimately all of this, it's not about babies. It's not about children. It's not about health care for these right wing justices. It's not about any of it. I've said it's about control of women, but what I'm really starting to realize is that it's about hatred of women. For Republicans, for these right wing justices, for the people in power, these billionaires who are funding them, they hate women and they will use any argument they can to justify what their ultimate end is, which is getting us back in the kitchen with no voting rights, with no jobs, and with no power. I don't know why they hate us so much, but it is time for us to get on a footing where we understand that they will use any rationale to justify what their ultimate goal is, which is to hurt us, which is to punish us for gaining the power that we have and take it out of our hands by any means necessary. If they have to use fetal personhood, they want to use it. And I don't say this to discourage you. I say this to fire you up, to enrage you. For God's sake, register to vote. And remember, these people represent about 35% of the country. Guess what that means? The rest of us can beat them. Register to vote vote for Democrats. Democrats will codify Roe v. Wade into law. They have promised. There is a way out of this, so please don't despair. Use that rage, all right? And when you need a face to put to it, use his.